This is the first episode of Versus video series. Oh yeah, this is the war zone. Stick show. This channel will now be an IT fighting arena. We're gonna make them fight till death so that we will know which one is better. This can be certifications, tools, technologies, and even IT instructors and IT bloggers. In the blue corner, we have Cisco Data Center Network Switches. And the red corner, we have Arista Network Data Center Switches. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the Cloud and Data Center. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Now, how do we know which one is better? It's very simple. We will just use the internet. Specifically, we'll use search engine. And to be specific, we will just go to google.com. Let's go google.com. And I'm going to type Cisco versus Arista. There you go. And uh, how many results do we have here? You know what? We'll just pick the top three or four results. So what I'm going to do is I will open a new tab for this first result and the second result which is from gartner.com and uh, okay better buy a risco networks ver versus cisco suite uh, excuse me cisco systems and uh, this one a recent networks platform versus cisco catalyst which is not a good comparison because cisco catalyst is enterprise network switches and uh, arista networks or arista switches are more focused on data center Okay, how about Forbes.com? Out with old, why Arisa Network is crushing Cisco. So let's open this for. Okay, so let's look at the first result. So this is from Bright Star Systems. And uh, here they are comparing networking of both Arisa and Cisco, uh, looking for upgrade existing equipment or growing enterprise. Okay, uh, first they. Um, Describe Arista specialization, which is reliable, fast switches, and Cisco offers comprehensive selection of hardware. Of course, because Cisco, they have various portfolio. They have many different solutions, not only data center networking, they have enterprise, they have security, they, ha they have IP telephony service provider, and many others. Now, the difference of Cisco and Arista networking is first, well, most obvious is the size and scale of Arista versus Cisco's. Um, Cisco has been around for over three decades and Arista has only been around since 2004. Okay, and Cisco is such a large company, it has very large market share. So uh, when it comes to size, it's not comparable. And again, we just want to compare data center network switches. Uh, which one is better, Arista or Cisco? Now, if I scroll down here, so here are some of the Arista switches lines and uh, family of switches. And uh, Cisco Nexus 9000. All right, so basically it's Arista's switches versus Cisco 9K. I know there are a lot of Cisco's series family of switches, but the 9000 is one that matches Arista switches. Now, uh, this blog is really all about the company, the Bright Star System, because this company, uh, they are on SI or system integrator. They offer both Cisco and Arisa hardware. So nothing really worth reading on this page. So we'll just close this one and we'll look at Gartner.com. Now, here in Gartner.com, we already have ratings. As you can see, Arisa Networks has 4.6 over 5 as well as Cisco. So they have the same ratings, but uh, let's check out the highlight review. So under Arisa, it says, it's a go-to solution for modern data center switching needs. 
we use Arista data center switches to build our private cloud in Colo data center. Okay, and um, under critical review, it says more features than any other vendors. Installation and managing all Arista device in our data center, implement all protocols and tested every features. Um, so this is the highlight, reviews and the critical review. Now let's compare with Cisco. So for Cisco, they say it's a reliable data center switch and uh, powerful, that means any workload, very versatile in models with various possible deployment. Excellent quality runs for years without needing maintenance or with minimal maintenance. But under critical review, <laughs> this is so negative. It says good marketing, but many issues while implement and operation. Many capabilities in data sheet, but only few is useful and practical. So we have one negative review here under Cisco. Uh, under ratings breakdown, okay, so they broke it down overall capability score. Under overall rating is 4.7. Both of them, both Cisco and Arista. Um, evaluation and contracting, 4.6. Under Arista, which is higher than Cisco's 4.5. Integration and deployment, uh, what we have here is even higher, 4.7 Arista, 4.5 for Cisco. Okay, and uh, service and support, both of them also got 4.6. Now, under like and dislike, um, so it says here, Max Solution, or MaxSec solution within a cross data center tunnel sec, um, et cetera. <laughs> what users do not like, lack of some commands. All right, so for Cisco, enormous portfolio with multiple switching options, support multiple SFPs, and what users do not like, very complex to configure a simple task. Experience about instability with uh, L2 bugs, uh, misconfiguration by advanced services cause subnets flapping by TAC. So these are some of the uh, negative reviews. For for Arisa, lack of commands, um, I don't know. What do you think? Now, overall rating is both 4.6, but uh, based from what we saw, it seems like Arista got the a little over, uh, got a little advantage. Okay, And I, I believe this 4.6, from our research, a little higher, like 4.65. While Cisco, this is the lower side of 4.6, like 4.60 or 4.61. Okay, so this is the first page, first comparison. Now, what we have here is a better buy, Arista versus Cisco. Now, it seems like this page is all about stocks. Okay, it says here, Arista Networks, 3.25%, Cisco Systems, 0.69 percent uh two different ways to invest network hardware and service market um yeah so it, it is not the technology sides it is just about stocks okay uh cisco's main advantage are its reputation and scale which enable it or enable it to bundle additional applications such as webex security software uh, it's a walled garden, but it's still cost effective one for many companies. Um, now, here's the thing. Um, this is a comparison between two companies. Okay, And the winner here is Cisco. It says Arisa's earlier recovery seems to have impressed investors over the past year. Uh, again, the comparison here is the stocks. Okay, Which one has a better market share? And uh, since we are really just comparing data center switches, Okay, this or this page is not for us. Okay, uh, how about this? I'll be the old why Arista Networks is crushing Cisco. Okay, let's see. Supply chain challenges. Oh, let me close this. This supply chain challenges since the pandemic have been the bane of corporate America. Now those challenges are hitting the technology companies. Okay, and uh, all right, investors should focus on Arista Networks. One of those competitors, which is, we know, Arista Networks is Santa Clara, California based. Um, what else do we have here? Arista supplies scalable network hardware and software solutions to hyperscale data center. And what else do we have? The big attraction is Arista's cloud vision software. The platform facilitates cloud-based network virtualization, 
This is a fancy way of saying software service like security can be bolted at scale with little fuss. Okay, um, now there is no comparison between Cisco and Arista technologies like their network devices, uh, data center portfolio and solutions. So yeah, we'll drop this. I'm just gonna close this. And uh, what I'm gonna do next, uh, we're not gonna rely on pages okay, or articles. Okay? There is a better approach to know which one is better. Now, we're gonna do a different approach, a different type of research. So instead of looking for existing articles, let's look for existing discussion. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll go back to Google and I'm going to search Cisco versus Arista and we'll look at Reddit discussion. So we have uh, many discussions already, many posts, but I will open the top four. There you go. And uh, look at the first one. We went from Cisco to Arista and experience and this was posted a year ago. So this guy, he said that we have a new management team at work and they would like to migrate from Cisco to Arista for our new networking core. Okay, and uh, uh, we have 28 comments. Okay, so this will be a fun discussion. So this guy work in an environment with mostly Arista gear and around 800 devices from lower end in leaf and spine architecture. And honestly, he loved Arista switches. Similar but more user-friendly CLI than Cisco and EAPI, which is the automation feature, is easier than Cisco. Okay, and uh, let's look at other comments. My longtime colleague and former peer moved from Cisco to Arista, and he says, resulted in a better work-life balance. Um, how far is your automation? He says, upgrades that don't result in outage. Um, what else? The only piece of Cisco gear were our resulted in an outage was my experience with firepower so this guy is like defending cisco it says that uh other cisco gears doesn't have any problems at all except firepower okay and one guy um he mentioned ice was a pain again we want to only compare cisco nexuses specifically 9000 to arista switches cisco aci basically 1.0 to 3.x was a nightmare all right um it's this guy i'm currently interviewing with them all right um if connecting to your cisco infrastructure nah we don't get anything from this comment um this one also all right 89 bells he says we moved from cisco to arista about five years ago and it has been great easy migration minor quick but attack were quickly able to help us Okay, and he said configuration of things like VXLAN, EVPN are simple and intuitive. Okay, and uh, would really or fully recommend using Arista switches. Um, all right, so this guy, after dealing with a broad range of Cisco gear for nine years and now working with Arista full time on a massive multi data center environment, um, he said it isn't even close. We haven't run into any box code is stable and just works so yeah it seems like he is recommending and telling positive things about arista switches okay um it, it says arista lost a court case um it's not actually our concern anyway so uh Skriti, it says it's been f great uh tack is support tack is super responsive and usually the person who picks up the phone is the person who solves the issue Okay, automation with configure replace has been wonderful and testing with COS and EOS, excuse me, VOS has been awesome. Okay, again, EOS, this is the operating system of most Arista devices. Okay, it's a great move from our organization to go to Arista from Cisco, no regrets. Okay, um, another comment here is Arista is terrible and you absolutely should not order any of their gear under any circumstances okay um dan muffins or danny muffins he says i f love arista we use them in our data center for all our core equipments okay and our says here another comment arista products are for most part very good and eos is one of the best 
NOS means network operating system are round. Okay, one negative I will say about Arisa though is they are laughably cheap and at times it really shows. Okay, what that's supposed to mean. All right, just make sure you clearly state what you need now and future so you don't find yourself getting stuck into corners. Um, all right, next comment. Arisa actually tests their software. You love it. Are you saying Cisco doesn't test their software at all? All right, next. Has Arisa finished MPLS segment routing? I recall we had issue with Arisa, an old version of Cisco iOS. All right, don't compare iOS with Arisa. It's not, it's not really fair. Okay, Cisco sucks a lot, and the only reason companies still use them is inertia. <laughs> All right, um, next. I love Arisa. They have super, super competent tech, and CVP, which is the Cloud Vision Portal, is great. All right, so this is actually a good discussion. Okay, um, most people are getting positive feedback and positive and great experience with Arista devices. All right, next. Uh, this is two years ago. Um, yeah, we'll just have a quick look. All right, most Cisco stuff is actually pretty good, but their licensing model are atrocious. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, I'm an Arista fan currently, a single OS, better software and better support. Okay. Uh, what else? Less bugs per 1K installed units on EOS versus NXOS. So are you saying that Cisco Nexus switches are buggy? All right, next. Uh, at least if you're considering into context of data center networking, you'd be best served comparing specifically Nexus 9K to Arisa. Of course, this is what we talked about before. Cisco is so huge and they have many different product lines. What we want to compare is Arisa switches versus Nexus, specifically Nexus 9K. Cisco's pricing is getting outrageous. Okay, what else? You need to evaluate your options. Okay, let's we'll skip that. Um, all right, it says better automation, open API, yes, mostly. He agreed. Like most network vendors, let's face it, APIs most people are thinking about is just sending the same commands. Um, yeah, let's skip some of his comments. Let's look at the last part. There are just more to build off and have work reliably on Arisa platforms than Cisco platforms I've worked with. They have, however, taking their sweet time releasing active active multi homing for VXLAN EVPN. Okay. Um, is Cisco Nexus doesn't have multi homing capability? I don't know. Uh, but I know Arisa does. I'm going to go to Parrot that I was told with a while ago. Nobody gets fired for buying Cisco. Okay, is it a good excuse? Um, there's a defense here. <laughs> buying Cisco doesn't get you promoted either. All right. Um, really interesting discussion here. Now let's look at this third discussion. Ah, this is nine years ago. It's too old. And as much as I want to read and share about it. Okay, it's just too old. This discussion should have been outdated. Uh, all right, so the third one here, this is just seven months ago. So it's not as old as the previous discussion. So similarities and difference. Arista rocks. The EOS flexibility is so fun to work with. Okay, check out the Arista book. Arista Warrior. Okay, let's skip that. Um, Arista is everything you wanted a Cisco switch to be. All right, the problem is going back to Cisco after this. This is a really funny comment. Uh, firmware management is far easier, in my opinion, and access to Linux control plane allows for a lot of flexibility and automation. Okay, uh, what else? They're pretty damn similar. The newer code changes the command a bit, but nothing you can't question mark your way through. Okay. Cisco wished their code was half as good as Arista. That's so mean comment. All right, what else? Uh, basic structure is similar to iOS, but EOS is most similar to NXOS. Yes, uh, like what we are mentioning and talking about. There's a lot to like about that. Um, okay, getting to Bash Shell is kind of cool, but not as useful these days without automating or automation. And uh, yeah, um, more centralized tools like Cloud Vision, Ansible, etc. Uh, what else? I'm a fan of CVP for management and patching as well. And um, last comment, way less patching and more time focusing on other things. Better software bug control. 
command line is very Cisco like, hence they got sued. Software consistency across platform as well. And uh, he was suggesting if you want, talk to your Arista representative and download a VM and play with it. Seems like the winner is Arista Networks. This was a non biased research because results are available on the internet. What I did was I just highlighted points and other opinions and experience. And of course, I can't be biased. I'm a certified instructor of both Cisco and Arista, and I don't want to lose training opportunities. What do you think of this video series? Feel free to give your suggestions and opinions, and don't forget to hit the like button.